Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making this crispy tofu with corn salad. So to start off, we're gonna roast some veggies. We have a jalapeno, a green bell pepper, and like a quarter of a red onion. I'm just popping them in the pan with some oil. We're gonna generously coat them, rub it around on them, and then we're gonna pop these in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. So let's place those in there. While they're in there, I have three ears of corn that I already boiled, and I'm just going to remove the corn pieces, I like to kind of put something in my bowl and then just use a sharp knife to cut down. And you can of course use like a frozen corn niblet if you like, but I kind of wanted those big corn chunks in there because they just come out so good. And you know, that's what the corn on the cob will look like when it's done. So after 12 minutes, I took our veggies out. I'm gonna give them a flip and then they're gonna go back in for like seven minutes. So we're gonna let those do that in there. We're going to work on our tofu while that's roasting. So I'm taking a block of super firm tofu and I'm going to cut like about quarter inch thick slices and then I'm going to cut those in half to make little tofu triangles. I love super firm tofu. You don't need to press it. It has the most protein. It's the easiest to work with. If you want to use extra firm tofu, you can, but you'll need to press it beforehand. So now we're ready to bread. So I have some cornstarch. We have non-dairy milk. I'm using the one from Ripple and we have some breadcrumbs. These are seasoned breadcrumbs. So that's why I'm not adding any seasonings in. If your breadcrumbs are not seasoned, then definitely be sure to add in your favorite seasonings. So I'm gonna take my little tofu, gonna to coat it in cornstarch with one hand, then I'm gonna dip it in my non-dairy milk with the other hand, and then I'm gonna take that first hand and coat it with the breadcrumbs. So we have a dry hand and a wet hand, and just coat it really well, and then that's it. We're going to place this on a baking sheet. This is a really good non-stick baking sheet that I have, but if you're not using something like that, then definitely put parchment paper. From my tofu, I made about 20 triangles, so I'm just going to repeat the process. Make sure to really drip off that extra non-dairy milk really well, so that way it doesn't get into the breadcrumbs, and just coat everything well, and it's fairly simple to do. And that's it. So once they're all done, we are going to give them a nice spray of spray oil. This is just gonna help crisp them up. And then we're gonna pop those in the oven because now our veggies are done. So these are going in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. Took my veggies out and now I am just going to start chopping everything up. The roasting of the veggies makes them so much sweeter and a much more mellow taste in the corn salad. It adds so much flavor and it's so good. So I chopped up the red onion. I'm gonna cut the bell pepper in half and cut the top off and cut the seeds out. And then we'll chop that up. Nice and small also green bell peppers are the cheapest so just a little nice way to save like a few cents here and there and just chop that up and then of course i'm going to chop up my jalapeno as well i don't mind the seeds but if the seeds bother you then you can like de-seed it but the flavor is not as potent anymore after you roast it and then we're also going to chop up some green onion you know, you could do chives in here if you wanted, any fresh herbs you like, and also some basil. I really love the flavor that basil gives, and it's perfect. We have a lot of it in our garden right now. So that's pretty much it for the corn salad. Of course, add in anything you like. I'm gonna pop it all in this bowl here. And then in our pan, there was all this nice oil from the vegetables. I saved that, and I'm gonna put that also into the corn salad. Add a little more oil and some salt and balsamic glaze. And this salad is very simple to make, very easy. The tofu has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm flipping it and I'm going back in the oven for another five-ish minutes just to get it more crispy. I'm going to mix the corn salad up and this corn salad seriously was probably one of the best things I've made in a long time. And as always, the floor dot recipes are on the blog or you can find the ingredients in the description box. Check the description box. It has everything you need to know down there. So I mix that up, add a little more salt if you like. And once the tofu is done, we're ready to plate this. So add your corn salad to a dish, add some pieces of tofu and add a little extra fresh basil and sea salt and the tofu works so well with the corn salad this is absolutely delicious it's like a perfect transition meal from summer to fall it's so good and you guys just have to try it you're gonna love it and that corn salad is seriously out of this world thank you for watching thank you for being here like i said a full run out recipes on the blog and i'll see you next week with another video bye